Hey, welcome back CQR fans. Today again we're at BDM Motorsports in Vernon, BC, Canada and we're checking out something a little bit different today. This is a Polaris XP1000S. It's a pretty sweet looking ride. You're going to want to stick around. So this guy is liquid cooled. It's a twin cylinder, a 952cc displacement. It's got standard active descent control. It's got a one touch on demand all wheel drive and two wheel drive. It's got standard engine braking system. And the engine type is the ProStar single overhead cam four stroke to sit. The engine is the ProStar single overhead cam four stroke twin cylinder. It is electronic fuel injection. It's got 89 horsepower. And your final drive is the automatic PVT. The P, it's got park, reverse, neutral, high, and low, inline shifting. Your front and rear brakes are a single lever, four-wheel hydraulic disc brake with a hydraulic rear foot brake as well. So the one lever, your hand lever will control all four and the foot brake controls just the rear. Your parking brake is the park selection in the transmission. So your dry weight on this guy is going to be 440 kilograms or 970 pounds. Your front rack is, is, is good for 91 kilograms or 200 pounds. The rear rack is good for 136 kilograms or 300 pounds. Those are actually insane numbers for the racks on something. That's awesome. 19 liters or 5 and a quarter gallons for the gas tank. Your overall vehicle size is going to be length, width, and height 209 by 140 by 125 centimeters, or 82 and a half by 55 by 49 inches. Your payload capacity is going to be 324 kilograms or 715 pounds. That includes the operator, cargo, and accessories. Seating capacity, of course, just one. And your height, sorry, your seat height is 94 centimeters or 37 inches. And your wheelbase is going to be 144 centimeters or 56 inches. So this is quite an impressive machine from Polaris. With the 52 inch wide stance, it's going to be it's going to be very stable around corners and stuff like that. This will be quite a sure-footed machine and give you that thrill factor with the 1,000 cc horsepower, or not horsepower, but 1,000 cc. Pretty neat little display there. And there's some of your parts. Is there 12 volt? This must be the charging port. <coughs> You plug in your battery tender there. Pretty smart idea. Got a cup holder there. It's fully automatic. Your fuel tank is up at the front, which is kind of typical for the Polaris's. It does have an LED third light, which is awesome. I wish more quads would do that. In here, Tiny bit of storage area. Kind of disappointing actually. There's usually a lot more in there. So there's a, a nice deep trunk in the back, which is good. Only drawback with that is if you are one to carry a box then that trunk is of no use to you, then you can't access it while your box is on. 
finally Polaris comes out with a two inch receiver on a quad. The taillights are really cool on this thing too. Completely enclosed footwells which is good. Definitely some really good suspension travel for sure. So the ride on this thing would be pretty cool, I would think. It'd be quite comfortable and quite nimble too. Get easy access to your dipstick there, which is nice. I do love the graphics and stuff. It's a great color scheme. Well guys, appreciate you guys being here today really means a lot when you hit subscribe and, and the like button it does the channel a world of good and as I said before we're check today we're checking out a 2022 Polaris XP 1000 S this is the one with the wider stance as you can see very interesting machine and it's not one that we see very often here it looks pretty cool so, so thanks again for watching guys please hit subscribe and like before you leave and I guess we'll see you on the next one. And come on down to BDM Motorsports and check these things out. These guys are awesome to deal with. Got a good line of Polaris and Kawasaki UTVs and ATVs. I think you'll like what you see here. Check you guys on the next one.